Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next page and we're going to practice this outline stroke or expand again with this example. So what we can do here is go to the pen tool and we can click and click and draw a straight line. If you hold down the shift key, it will be straight as well. And make sure that the stroke is a color and the fill is empty. And then what we want to do is increase the width of the stroke. Now, obviously it's a square corner. So what we do is we go to the stroke and we select round cap and voila. We might need to shorten this. So I can go to the direct selection tool and just shorten it this way. Or you can keep it as is, that's fine. We're going to do this again. So go back to the pen tool, click, click, hold down the shift key and click. So it's a straight line again, make it thick, just like before. And you can go to stroke and round caps. And that is our little plus sign. So that is great, but this currently is, there are two lines. This is a line, so I can just, you know, change a stroke if I wanted to. What I'm going to have to do is convert this to a shape. So I can then add a little stroke here as well. So it's a shape. And to do this, you go to object, expand. And it's going to expand it to fill and stroke and you click on OK. And now something we've covered in the introduction course, and that is the Pathfinder tool. So reminder, if you have two shapes and you want to join them, you go to the Pathfinder tool. And now this is a single shape. Now, if I wanted to add a stroke like here, I can go to stroke, make it red. If I need to increase the stroke, I can. And there we go. So that is an example of when you would need expand or offset stroke. Now we have the same principle here for another example. Like I said, I live in London, so the underground logo is pretty popular here. So let's do this again. We go to the ellipse tool, remove the fill, kind of try and select the center of the shape and then hold down Alt for drawing from the center and shift so it's a circle then you can press the up or down arrows later if you need to kind of move it around if it's not really in the center. Then we increase the stroke, make it wider. And then just like before, we go object, expand or puff, outline stroke, which does the same thing. So object expand, okay. Then you can go to stroke and add a border. If black isn't here, by the way, you can just click on this. And don't make sure you have the stroke selected. And then you click on this. And now you can increase the stroke width. Now for the underground bit, it's easy. You just have to go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and make it blue. Well, not this blue. If you want to get that blue, you can use the eyedropper tool and copy that blue. And voila. So that is done. Mm -hmm.